What is going on guys? This is AppleTech752 and in this video I'm going to show you how to completely bypass iCloud activation lock on the iPhone 5. This method is exclusive to the iPhone 5 and currently does not support the 4S, the 5C, or the 5S, but I will definitely update the description if there is any support added for those devices. So keep watch on the description and if it changes that means they're supported, but for now it's only the 5. Anyways, before we begin, I just want to give a huge shout out to Alexander. He was the one who discovered this. So please do me a favor and go follow him because he needs more followers. One more quick note, this bypass is a slightly more complicated tutorial than the check rein bypass. So I would highly recommend that you do this when you have time to sit down in front of your computer and focus on everything because it involves a lot of code and entering terminal commands. And so if you make a mistake, it's not actually gonna go through. So I would dedicate at least an hour to figuring this out because you're probably gonna need it. Anyways, without much further ado, let's get started. So as you'll notice, I'm on a Windows PC. This is a combined Windows and Mac tutorial. You can do it all on a Mac if you use iTunes. It is not possible to do it all on a Windows. Uh, however, I think Windows and Mac together are better because in this case, we're gonna be using three U-Tools, which is right now a program that's much more reliable than iTunes for restoring devices, which is the first step to this tutorial. So all you have to do is head over to 3u.com and click on the download button, and then you will get a utility called 3U Tools on your desktop. Now go ahead and double click that and allow. And you should see a screen like this pop up. It may say your device is connected or something like that. All you need to do is click on flash and jailbreak and then easy flash. And down at the very bottom where it asks for the modes, you just say quick flash mode. And there are three, sorry, two IPSWs up here, 10.3.4 and 10.3.3. These are the signed IPSWs. I'm using 10.3.4 because it's the latest version. So once you've selected that, just click on flash and click flash. And this is basically going to restore the device to the latest version, just like iTunes would. And the reason we need to do this is to utilize a USB exploit in the restore process which is going to allow us to put the device into DFU mode before it actually completes the on device restore. And this is gonna be crucial to the exploitation we're gonna do for the actual iCloud bypass. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video and I will be back when the restore is almost finished. So the restore is almost finished, and I'm gonna explain now what we're gonna do next, which is hands down the hardest part of the entire tutorial. So if you can do this step, then the rest of the tutorial is gonna seem pretty easy. What we're gonna to have to do is get this device into DFU mode immediately after the restore finishes. So we can't let any time pass by, we can't let the on-device progress bar go by, we have to instantly get it in DFU when the restore finishes, and last time it took me about 30 tries. I actually had to stop the video and go off camera and I'm filming it again because it took so long, but it may take one try, it may take 30 tries, you never really know. You're just gonna have to follow these steps, which are hold the power for three seconds, then continue holding the power and home, and then let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And I'm gonna show you how I'll do it as soon as the device finishes right here. All right, instantly it finished. Three, two, one, zero, one, two, three. And oh my gosh, guys, we actually made it into DFU the very first time. So tips for this, do not disconnect your device. Last time I disconnected it and it went into this crazy massive boot loop and took me like 30 tries to get the DFU. So leave it connected, hold the power button for like three seconds and then continue holding power and home for like five and don't wait for the Apple logo or anything. After five seconds of holding home and power, just let go of the power button and keep holding the home for like 10 seconds and your sh computer should make a little like doo-doo to let you know that the device is in DFU mode. 
So we are now in DFU mode, guys. I'm gonna hop on my Mac and show you that I'm gonna disconnect the device from my PC and plug it into my Mac. So you know there's no BS, it's all legit. And then I'll be back on Mac OS. All right, I'm just gonna show you right now that I have the device over here in DFU mode. We've got a really long cord down here into the PC. It's plugged in behind, so I'm just gonna disconnect it from here and head over to my Mac. There's a USB port right on the side, and I'm gonna plug it into my Mac. And if you actually are in DFU mode, like we are right now, then the device should stay in DFU mode and not boot up or anything. And if that's the case, then that's a good sign. I'll be back. All right, I'm back on my Mac, and we're gonna continue with this iPhone 5 iCloud bypass. So the first thing we're gonna do on our Mac is download this package called Apple Tech 752, all one word. It will be available from my website. So just open up a browser and head over to appletech752.com and click on the downloads page. And I haven't actually gotten around to uploading it yet, but it will be right over here as soon as this video is published. Once you've gotten that download, put it on your desktop and we're gonna open up a terminal window. All right, here we go. So now we're going to open up the package and there should be an instructions file in here. Go ahead and open this with text edit. And these are the commands you're going to need for my bypass. So to get started, we're gonna copy the first one right here. Command copy and command paste. And I'm going to insert my username right here. Apple Tech 752 slash. And now let's copy the rest of the command right here. And then just go ahead and click enter. And as you can see, we are now in the exploit part of the package right here, this folder here. So once you've done that, all you have to do is type dot slash ipon dfu and then dash p after that. And just like this, our device is now in pawn dfu mode. So we're gonna just continue with all the commands here, very similar to the check rain method. We're gonna be copying and pasting some commands into the terminal uh, just to do a bunch of file transfers and operations on the device. So the next thing is this command right here, which is dot slash ipon dfu dash l. And now we're gonna click space and you can't actually copy and paste this part what we're gonna to have to do is go into the loader folder right here. And in the loader folder, we have a bunch of different files here. The one we're looking for is the one it says in the instructions, IBSS. So go ahead and select IBSS and then drag it into the terminal window and click enter. And it should say done with a nice exclamation point letting us know we were successful. So let's move on to the next one got dot slash i recovery dash f now enter a space again and this time we're going to use ibec from the loader folder so drag ibec into the terminal and click enter and it gave us a nice little scrolling indicator that ibec is complete and it's really hard to see right now on the camera but the device actually at this point will have moved from a totally black screen to a like slightly lit up blackish blue screen that lets you know that stuff is going on basically. So if you see that, then you know we're good so far. The next thing we're gonna do is this command right here. This is actually another version of iRecovery. We have two iRecoveries in here. This is basically gonna open up a shell. And as you can see, no failure counts right here. If you do get a failure count, it doesn't mean anything, you should be fine. But we basically have a shell right here, so we're gonna just continue with the commands. So this time I'm not gonna bother copying and pasting because they're very simple. You're just gonna say slash send space. And this time we're going to 
use the device tree. This is coming directly from the instructions. We have device tree right here. So go into the loader, drag the device tree into the terminal and click enter. And it should say successfully uploaded. Now we actually have to execute the device tree. So to do that, we just have to type device tree. It's literally that simple and click enter and then it loads it. So let's just continue. We've got another slash send. And this time we're going to do the RAM disk. So as you can see, it says drag and drop here. So let's go ahead and drag and drop the RAM disk in here and click enter. And this one is a much bigger file. So it's gonna actually give you the structure of the file, the bytes and everything. So once that's done, we're going to actually execute it just like we did with the device tree by just typing in RAM disk and clicking enter. And there we go, it loaded the RAM disk. Now we have one more file to send to the device. So do slash send. And then this last one in here that we have not done yet is kernel cache. So go ahead and drag and drop the kernel cache. And it says successfully loaded. And once we are all done with that, what we're gonna do is type boot X. So B O O T X, all lowercase. And just like this, we'll see some nice verbose booting on the screen. And here we have a custom loader right here. This is not the iOS restore process indicator. It's something totally different. So now we're gonna get started with a method that is almost exactly the same as the check rain method. I'm sure many of you are super familiar at this point. We're going to be using the Python launcher. So uh, go ahead and head over back to the tool to the Python folder, uh, double click it. And the file TCP relay.py is the one we're going to be using. So go ahead and open with Python launcher. This is literally the exact same thing we did for the check rain bypass and it should open up one window right here because we're already using the second one. So go ahead and close the preferences and now copy this command right here. It's almost the same as the check rain one, but slightly different. So just go ahead and use the one I provided, click enter. And once you're done with that, we're gonna do shell and the terminal menu bar, new window and new profile basic. And just like this, we have a brand new fresh terminal window to work with. And now we're gonna copy this next command right here. All of this is in the instructions, step by step. So you can just copy and paste. Here we go, paste it in, click enter. And I'm so glad this happened because so many of you were asking about this. The remote host identification has changed and I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix it right now. So we have to go to finder and go, go to folder. And in here, we're going to type in dot slash SSH. Sorry, it's slash dot SSH. And just like this, we have a known host file. So go ahead and open it with text edit and delete everything in there and save it and now we should be all good to go so just like that we're going to actually close out of here and close out of the uh, python tcp relay we're basically going to start over this is what you have to do if your um, host has an issue so it's we're not starting all the way over don't worry we're just going to start over with the python launcher step so go ahead and open the Apple Tech 752, Python TCP relay, open with Python launcher. And just like this, we're going to copy the command one more time, the TCP relay command, copy it, paste it in. And it's forwarding the data. So go to shell, new window, new basic window. And now when we paste this code, it should work just fine. And when it asks about the authenticity, just say yes, all lowercase. 
and the password I'm gonna put up on the screen right now, it's Alpine. I'll click enter. And it's gonna give us some information right here, but don't be fooled by any of this. We're just gonna continue doing exactly what we always do, just typing in commands. So let's type in this one right here. Copy, paste. And if you get that, you'll know you're all set. So just go to the next one, copy it, and paste it right in there. And now we have successfully deleted setup.app right here. Setup is gone from the phone. So all we have to do is reboot it. And in order to do that, we say reboot back. I mean, I guess it makes sense rebooting back to a state with no iCloud. So click enter and the connection is going to be closed and our device is going to now boot up to a state with absolutely no iCloud activation lock. All right, it just made the buzzing sound. And let's see, boom, just like this, guys. We are iCloud bypassed. No more iCloud. You guys saw that activation lock earlier. It is no longer there. So this device is gonna be basically the same as a check rating device. So you're gonna have to use all the tricks that we know for signing into iCloud. You can do that with another account through Feelza. You can also, um, you will be able to fix calling and texting very soon because I'm gonna be pushing out a fix for that this coming week on Monday and Tuesday. And if you wanna take a screenshot, then we also have a fix for that, new video. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna have lots more tutorials for how to add functionality for your bypass devices, but we can just go ahead and disconnect it. And we now have a fully iCloud bypassed iPhone 5 right here. So if you guys like the video, then please leave a huge thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Me and Apple Demo are collaborating on this series for check rain and iCloud bypass just in general. And we're gonna continue bringing the best content out there and hope you guys enjoy it.